Oh my God, I can't believe we're here. We have just landed in New York. We're going to get to know Brendan. He's been working on this renovation for two years and I cannot wait to show you guys. Oh, oh these look so nice. Hello. Ash, you made it to New York. Yeah. Well, Brendan, this looks amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a you know, work in progress, but we're getting there. How long have you lived in New York for? 15 years. Where were you living before? Canada. Yeah. Oh my God, how long were you living Part there Part of the for? Commonwealth, you know? Yeah, I love this. Yeah. What's made you choose New York? Uh, that's a long story, but okay. I made it here. And here okay. I am. But here you are, yeah. and you're renovating your house. Why wouldn't you house? want to live in New York? I Why think? wouldn't you? Walking in here, unbelievably peaceful. Yes, that's a very... So we're, obviously it's New York, so we have limited light. Um, some of it's covered, but there's, yep. we're in between buildings because it's yeah. you know, very New York City and we're on the main floor. But uh, yeah, we're on the back side of a very, maybe the busiest street in the world, or one of them. So you've been renovating for what, two years? Two years, yeah, just over two years. Okay, now. how yeah. you found it? Stressful or you're loving every minute or? Um, I really love it, but okay. I mean, timelines are stressful, but the easy rule that I've learned, this is the third project we've done, is everything okay. takes twice the time and yes. twice the budget. What's been like your vision for this space? Um, the vision obviously is to modernize it a bit. It was quite mm -hmm. old and very yellow due to, you know. Yeah, didn't you say someone smoked? A lot of smoke. Yeah. Things. Yeah, petting her cat. Oh my God. So. This is your color palette that you're thinking, isn't it? Yeah, this is the beginning um, of what we're thinking. I mean, I think, we would like to get this as the base and yeah. all the tones and whether we choose an accent wall or something at some point, I think we would probably do that. But I like to just live in a space in a neutral zone to understand how to furnish and kind of the energy of each room before. You That's know, amazing. Attacking That's something. why I try and tell my clients the whole time. Yeah. Because when you're living in a space, you'll then get a complete feel for like, actually, funny enough, that window, it's so yeah. bright in here. Exactly. Or you might be like, oh, actually, we want to create more or lighting. Yeah, or, or a mood or, yeah. you know, like bedside lamps versus overhead could have a full accent wall behind the bed that could bring out a full, you know, layer in a room that you didn't expect or a depth. Is that also, screen. it's going to be interesting because that is your only source of natural light. Mm -hmm. Going for such a gorgeous, rich, pigmented, neutral, yeah. it will actually help reflect the light. Exactly. You don't want it, the darker is obviously going to a pull bit it in. More, yeah. Like this is maybe even, you know, I besides out here, it's too dark. This is just construction yep. primer white, which is again like studio. It's almost too white where this has more of a this warmth more, to it. Yeah, and I this think is it'll a be pink perfect. undertone actually. Yeah. This one, yeah. you actually can really tell. So that's yeah, got a blue. gray undertone. Yeah. And then actually next to the pink, yeah. I actually think the pink one. Would yeah, be I think beautiful. this is really nice. Have you and Hannah got very similar styles? I would say, and she would agree. Like it, it's yeah. more my vision to start here. Obviously, we always mm -hmm. agree on everything, but she has a few key things that she must have. Okay, and what would they be? Um, a tub. Okay. But like a beautiful tub setting, not just like, mm -hmm. I mean, a tub functionally, yep. but she needs like a soaking, relaxing, that's her really unwinding moment. Oh, I love so that. she loves to have a bath a couple times a week. Um, and she just wanted always a beautiful environment. So we did the claw foot in our first one. We've now done one here as well. And then closet obviously yes. needs a needs a. Really Do you good have place. a walk-in wardrobe or is it just Hannah's? No, no, that's, that's ours. I don't that's know. That's yours. Yeah, where okay. would I go? I know. Yeah. The room feels totally different from a height, you know? So coming up here, oh, this is where my. our primary bedroom will yeah. be. So our bed will be against this wall looking out with wow. full glass here, which will have obviously Great. some sort of drape. Are you keeping the bookcase? Absolutely, that's brilliant. So the, the the person that lived here before, yeah, there's a really important bookstore in New York called Strand Books, yes. and he was the rare book curator. So oh, when I first came in here, he had just passed away. I didn't know them. Yep. Um, I met a guy in this elevator. We were staying on the fifth floor in this building, a friend's apartment, just like squatting because we'd sold our house. So they just lent it to us. And I met a guy in the elevator and he said, where are you living after this? And in five floors, he, he's like, oh, the lady on the first floor is selling, showed me a photo of the living room. I got her number the next day, met her and purchased it, it 40 days. Fate. 40 days later was closed on the sale. What are the three main ways that you're bringing your personality into this space? Good question. I think, you know, obviously one, refreshing it yeah. or whatever that means to someone, but modernizing it to, to our um, kind of taste level. But I think, you know, there's always three things that matter. It's one, mm -hmm. it's the, the bones you build or have to build with, which yeah. we have, which I think are phenomenal. Um, 
furniture, yes. how you furnish it is a large part of your decor and then lighting is like such a big important thing to me. I'm such a lighting snob, so I'm always, <laughs> my wife will kill me, but I'm like running around like dimming a light and there'll be dimmers everywhere. Completely sets the atmosphere Yeah, though. like I have it's to. It's so important. I have to have it. We're actually doing these Forbes and Lomax. So mm. all of our light switches, so they're aged brass, so they'll kind of age. So it'll feel like there's a texture to everything. What's, um, um, what furniture have you decided to so go for? So we're working for? with B&B Italia, yeah. um, which I'm really excited about. It To oh, me, it's like one of the... Well, it's the iconic. Yeah, yeah, I think it's super iconic. The parent company is with um, Max Alto. So yep. we have a mix of Max Alto, B&B Italia for furniture. And then for lighting, they're also, they work, they're together with Floss and um, Lewis Colson. So we have a mix of all those um, four companies within here. But B&B would be... Um, to me, the coffee table, the dining table, all the chairs, the club chairs. Yep. And the lower level in the entertainment room, we have yep. a nine piece Camellionda. Oh God. To me, it's like. It's everyone's dream. The most iconic yep. piece of. It is. Our sofa ever made. I what say piece because it comes for? in pieces. We're doing um, a two tone blue. So one's Peaceful. like a, a darker corduroy. Yeah. And one's a lighter. Look. Here you go. There you go. Literally like this. Um, so is there anywhere like locally that you're just obsessed with? Yeah. You're... I mean. Of course, it's New York City. There's yeah. so much inspiration to draw from everywhere, but there is a great place just down the street that I love and we love as a family. Um, and it's just, it's super warm. The lighting's amazing. The finishes are so well done. So okay. you should definitely go check it out. Yeah, come go check it out. Yes. Okay, yes. let's go. Also, what I really like, I really love Americans because I think I'm quite like in your face. Uh, <laughs> and everyone I've met, I'm like, yeah. they're the nicest wow, people that's ever. Crazy. This is a great little spot. It was the lighting, isn't it, that you said you loved? Yes, which we're here daytime right now, yeah. but nighttime it really glows. It's like a really nice um, amber to it. What is it about this room that you're, like, are you gonna try and bring any of this sort of feel into um, your own a home? Couple home things. Or? I feel like it's just done in such a warm, classic way. Obviously, there is a couple elements. Um, there's also some heritage elements. I grew uh -huh. up with cane chairs in my kitchen. My Ooh. parents still have them, so that... Nostalgic is, feeling. Yeah, nostalgic feeling is really nice to me. It brings me back to somewhere. The light switches here are the aged brass Forbes and Lomax light switches that we're using in our place. Um, we're gonna have uh, art light very similar to that. Um, we don't have any green currently, but I just love this dark emerald green. But yeah, this dark like green is also like a very like rich, it's very like foresty, things, like, yeah. But also, like, luxurious things mm -hmm. come in this color. Mm -hmm. You know, like polo boxes. Or, <laughs> you know. Looking around this room, do you know what I love about it? It's like how everything ties so beautifully together. Mm -hmm. Like, you go from the dark, rich green, and then actually paired, like, the rattan. And I always say it's really nice when you're thinking about space. Bringing something new in, then bringing something old, and then bringing something which reflective or like metallic, which they've done so well with these black tables. And this just grounds the space perfectly. And my favorite feature is the bell wood. That's just, yeah. for me, that is the focal point of this room. 100%. And no, you wouldn't see anyone do this and they do it so no, well. If so well. someone told you to do it, you'd probably be like, well, it seems like a lot, but yeah. they're able to do something that's like really loud and bring it into a warm, in a warm way, which is very impressive. Completely, and it feels so calm and mm -hmm. cozy and just really sort of, like you said, warm. It's a really warm tone, and I think it pairs beautifully, funny enough, with this brass accent mm -hmm. that's then found on the table. And I really love these old lights. Yeah, I really, I really like this feeling in this yeah. home. If you can recreate this in your home, then you've smashed it, mate. Brendan, thank you so much for showing me your place today. Absolutely, it was a pleasure. And by the way, you guys are the only ones who have seen it so far. So oh there will be a final reveal, but this was... And oh, that's little... really special. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back and have a look. I can't wait. Cool. Thanks for coming. Thanks.